Hi. Uh, so I'm trying to like do a different type of thing for this video. So I'm at the thrift store and we are going to go look for some collage materials and then I'm going to go home and we're going to make a collage with them. So I hope that you find this inspiring um, and that it gives you some ideas and I'm just going to kind of show you how I do my art and um yeah so come along for the journey and yeah i always wear headphones when i'm thrifting just because i like to listen to stuff um i think that's like a pandemic thing like even when i go to the grocery store i listen to stuff so <laughs> um yeah so let's see what happens see what we find and i will see you in the voiceover all right, I'm on the hunt. So we're going inside. I brought a reusable shopping bag. Are you sensing a theme here? Uh, so this is the inside of the thrift store. They have a ton of like household goods and clothes, but specifically I am looking for the book area and it is wild, extremely disorganized and a mess, but I like to dig down and especially towards the bottom shelves is where I will find the hardcover uh, and sometimes paperback pictorial books, which is what I'm looking for. So right away I found this one, which was really exciting, Yellowstone and Grand Tetons. So it has tons of nature photos. I ended up finding probably about three or four that we're gonna work with. I did get distracted as I usually do by the paperbacks, uh, especially this one. I wanted to buy it, but I already have it. It's just better quality than the one I have, but we're not doing that. Anyway, we've got a stack, we are ready to go, so let's get back in the car and see what we found. Okay, so pardon my sweatiness and pardon my shaky hand. I'm really doing my best. <laughs> I know you know that. Anyway, so the first thing I got is not collage related, but it's like this really cool like biscuit tin. I don't know, I just feel like stuff can go in it and it looks real, like it doesn't look like it's from like Home Goods or something, so I don't know. Uh, I ended up only spending like $12. It wasn't a, a big hit of a day. They just didn't have a lot of stuff that I would use uh, for collage. So, but I found a few. So we're going to see what we can do. Um, I also found this book. It's just like, a, it looks like it's probably from the 80s or 90s travel book about Rome that has a lot of good like cityscape pictures. Um, I got this. This is unrelated, but I just thought it was cool. Um, I also got this, also unrelated, but it was really good quality, so. Anywho, um, I also got, there was a bunch of these, like, they're, like, Time Life pictorials, uh, this fabulous century, I don't know, uh, this one has one specific picture I'm gonna show you that I think could work really cool, uh, the rest of it's, like, mm -mm, okay, but there was one inside that I was, like, mm, I need that, um, and then I got two hard covers that will definitely be hits. One is pictures of Yellowstone and the Grand Tetons. This is always the kind of books I look for because they have a lot of those mountain ranges I love, uh, stuff like that. And then I also got this one, which is, oh gosh, sorry, I <laughs> can't grab it. Um, Alaska and the Yukon, which same thing. So uh, yeah, so let's go home and look at these and see what we can pull out. See you there. Okay, so we're home now, and let's do a little bit of flipping through the items that I got at the thrift shop. Um, like I said, it wasn't like a total hit of a day, but mm -mm -mm, you know, I, I think we can make something work. This is gonna be kind of a challenge for me because uh, literally the only things I brought with me besides the books that I got today are my scissors and these are the adhesives that I use. They are called photo splits or photo squares. Um, I don't know if it's the most efficient way. You have to really mess around with adhesives, especially when you work on collage. But for me, this has been the most successful thing for the past like two years. So I'm just kind of stuck on them now. Um, it's just like, it's what I use, it's what works. But um, yeah, I'll link below in the description the, um, the brand that I use. Uh, the most important thing I always look for is that it says permanent and not um, repositionable because if it says repositionable, it won't stick. 
Uh, so yeah, so let's look at what we got. I just chose an eight and a half by 11 piece of paper, but maybe it'll be smaller. Uh, it just kind of depends, but okay. So we got this book about Rome. I really like these maps like this. Uh, I just think it would be really cool to have like a corner of that in there. There's also some like Renaissance paintings, obviously Sistine Chapel, et cetera, et cetera. Um, so that could be cool as like a corner or background. Um, and I really like like uh, old buildings and architecture in, um, in collaging as well. I have a whole book that I found that was all of cathedrals. I think I actually got it at that same thrift store a while back and it was so cool and I'm still using it. See, I, like I like this, how it's just like detail. I'm gonna rip this out. I don't know why, I'm just, this is what I'm gonna rip out. So yes, I do rip out. Um, if you're worried about the binding of the book, you can always exacto, obviously. Um, but for me, I just rip it. I just kind of go with it. So we have that. Um, what else? Do we see anything else? Mm -hmm. I like that, but it's okay. I'm just looking for like geometrical designs, stuff like that. Yeah, I I'm happy with just this from this book for now. So what I'll probably do after I film this is literally go through these books and rip out everything I could ever even possibly use. And then I recycle uh, the rest of it. So yeah, so this was the uh, life century, lifetime, time life rather, century book I was telling you about um, that I had, there was one picture in it that I wanted to use. Where was it? Where was it? Oh, see, that's beautiful. Hmm. I'm tempted to use that, but I'm going to, I'm going to leave that for now. Oh, here it is. I love this so much. So I'm going to rip out one half and then save the other half maybe for something else. Also, like how stupid is this picture? But it's like, I don't know. It just looks really cool. Like that would just be a really cool centerpiece for something. I don't know. All these people hula hooping. This is cute too. Hmm. I kind of like like just this figure or even this one because she's just like turned away or even this one with this like weird thing on her head. Well, it's like a, a neck, I guess. It's like a, uh, ooh, I don't know. What do you think? I'm into this one. It's just the tube dress. It's just weird enough. So I don't think I'm ever going to use the hula hooper. So, but if there is like if we cut her out and there's still like a piece of them, I will save it. All right, so we've got tube dress. We've got the 3D people. I like this too. I'll definitely use that for something at some point. Um, but then it gets a little historical and I don't usually like to use like pictures of like known people in my collages unless it's like a Star Wars character and I'm doing something like that. So motorcyclist munches on an ear of corn nice that's cool that's <laughs> that's good oh is that what's my line oh i like that show it was very strange but it's fun if you can find this on youtube you should watch it it's a really goofy show dorothy kilgallen i have oh my gosh i could talk about her all day Comment below if you want to get into that because I'll get into it. I've thought about making a zine about her, but then I'm also like, oh, who cares? But the thing is, I care, you know? So anyway, <laughs> that's, a di that's a different and much longer story. Like I said, comment below if you want to hear about that. So now we're in this Tetons book, and I know that there's a lot of this that I'm going to rip out. But for now, oh, that's so pretty. But for now, I'm just looking for something that will go with the lady in the tube dress because that's that I think this is our focus so what would go cool with that um oh yeah there's a lot Oof, there's a lot of good stuff in here these are always the books that I'm looking for at that thrift store and I found a lot of good ones um so I'm always going back but I don't go super often because I try to you know, once you go and you look through, they're not going to get new stuff, like, all the time. I do kind of like that. Hmm. 
I'm gonna rip this out. I just, I don't know, I have a psychic feeling about it. Uh, yeah, so I don't go super duper duper off into there, but um, I also like this though. But when I do, that's always what I'm looking for. Books of florals, garden books that people are getting rid of, and books of especially national parks. Um, yeah, I rip these things to shreds. And if you look through like my videos to see my art journals and some of the, if you look on my Instagram and see some of the collage art I've done, you can definitely see the um, the evidence of these books abounds, especially because when it's nature stuff like this that doesn't really have anything that's like earthly, like cars or whatever, then I can use it in my uh, Star Wars art as well. I'll link my Star Wars. I know I've talked in like reference Star Wars a few times. I don't really like bring that to YouTube super often, but um but I do a lot of Star Wars art and I have a Star Wars fanzine. I will link it in the description if you're interested. Um, so this one, I don't really think we need anything from this. I have a feeling, oh, I like that little bird. Cute. Um, I have a feeling that we have all that we need, but I'm just kind of looking through for later. Yeah, this is cool. Very cool. I can already tell like some of this I probably wouldn't use, but I am trying to get more like outside of my comfort zone and like saving stuff, even if I can't like specifically see a use for it at this moment, like because there might be a use for it in the future. Um, hmm, oh, that's pretty. I love the bear. Yeah, I think, oh, wow. Well. I think that we have what we need. So this is only stuff from those books we picked up today, right? So like part of me thought, would it be enough to just cut her out and put her on top of this? But I think what I'm gonna do is, is like rip this and and have that blend in with this or, or this one and have that blend in with this. So it's not, you know what I mean? So it's not like, all of them, like maybe at a diagonal would be cool. Hmm. Okay, I think that I am going to switch to voiceover for this next part because sometimes it takes me a while and maybe I'll speed it up a little bit too so we can get to our final result. So I will see you soon. Yay. So I cut out our tube dress model and realized I needed some more tools. So I brought up my swing line paper cutter and my uh, cutting mat for my X-Acto blade and the blade. So uh, I realized I wanted to cut out those spaces in between her arms where there's the white. Uh, as far as X-Acto knife work and cutting with these blades, it's so hard. And especially with collage materials like the ones I use where there's no backup, like if I had cut one of her arms off on accident or like sliced too far or whatever, like that's it. So uh, my tips would be uh, to go really, really slow, uh, to have patience with yourself and to do it in smaller parts, kind of like I did there. Like don't expect, expect one clean cut. Uh, and also the sharper the blade can be is always best. So I ended up uh, going with just this uh, 3D glasses page and that other page and her, and that's it. So it's a three-piece collage. I cut off the text from the page and cut off that ripped edge. And now I'm just figuring out exactly where I want to position her and position the uh, little like water nature page. I, I decided to do like kind of a diagonal and to have it going along with the left side of her body. Um, I ripped this edge and as far as ripping paper goes, always rip away. I don't know if you could see it there, but because there will be a white edge and uh, you usually don't want that. You might for like a technique uh, for appearance, but you usually don't want that white edge on the piece you're going to use in the collage. So you just rip away. That's what I always do. Um, that takes a lot of trial and error. Ripping paper is like one of the things I use the most in my art and technique. It's one of my favorite things to do, but it's really hard. Um, you you kind of get good at it as you go along. I think, again, the trick is to go slowly. Um, and so, yeah, so now I'm just adhering 
the nature piece to the 3D piece and uh, the 3D glasses piece. And then I'm just gonna cut off the edges with the paper cutter to make sure that they are um, matched up evenly. And then we're gonna place her down and it's really as easy as that. So yeah, so this one just kind of came together um, with just a few pieces, which is really kind of cool. I think I feel like a lot of my collages have been doing that lately. See this like picture on the back? It, it's like 25 people inside a phone booth. <laughs> I don't know, <laughs> that's a weird one. But yeah, so we trimmed that. So now that is all matched up and I'm gonna tape down that um, right edge so that uh, it won't be flapping or loose or anything. And then and then it's just positioning her and, and we're good to go. So that's pretty cool, pretty exciting. Um, now that we're at this point, I think I'll just cut to the finished product so you can see how it turned out. See you in a sec. And there you have it. This is our finished collage. So I ended up not even using the eight and a half by 11 paper that I brought up. I just, like made it on top of that piece of magazine if I wanted to, which I probably will, um, mount this onto a thicker paper. I often use like the Strathmore Bristol uh, paper for collaging. I'll probably mount it onto one of those and then trim it around the edges just to make it a little sturdier. Um, so yeah, I hope you liked seeing the life cycle of a collage with me. Uh, if you like this print and this collage and would be interested in it as a print, let me know in the comments. Uh, that's something I could make available. Uh, definitely like the video and subscribe for more if you enjoyed it. Uh, and yeah, thank you for coming on this uh, adventure with me today. And I hope you have a beautiful day. Bye.